A kindergarten is a preschool educational approach traditionally based around playing, singing, practical activities such as drawing, and social interaction as part of the transition from home to school. The first such institutions were created in the late 18th century in Bavaria and Strasbourg to serve children both of whose parents worked out of the home. The name kindergarten was coined by Friedrich Frau Paragraph Bell, whose approach greatly influenced early years education around the world. The term is used in many countries to describe a variety of educational institutions for children ranging from the ages of 2 to 7 based on a variety of teaching methods. History, Origins In an age when school was restricted to children who had already learned to read and write at home, many attempts were made to make school accessible to the children of women who worked in factories or were orphans. In 1779, Johann Friedrich Oberlin and Louise Schepeler founded in Strasbourg an early establishment for caring for and educating preschool children whose parents were absent during the day. At about the same time, in 1780, similar infant establishments were established in Bayern. In 1802, Pauline Zerlip established a preschool center in Detmold. In 1816, Robert Owen, a philosopher and pedagogue, opened the first British and probably globally the first infant school in New Lanark, Scotland. In conjunction with his venture for cooperative Mills Owen wanted the children to be given a good moral education so that they would be fit for work. His system was successful in producing obedient children with basic literacy and numeracy. Samuel Wilderspin opened his first infant school in London in 1819, and went on to establish hundreds more. He published many works on the subject, and his work became the model for infant schools throughout England and further afield. Play was an important part of Wilderspin's system of education. He is credited with inventing the playground. In 1823, Wilderspin published on the importance of educating the infant poor, based on the school. He began working for the Infant School Society the next year, informing others about his views. He also wrote the infant system, for developing the physical, intellectual, and moral powers of all children from one to seven years of age. Spread Countess Teresa Brunswick, who had known and been influenced by Johann Heinrich Pestalozzi, was influenced by this example to open an Anaya Kurt on May 27, 1828 in her residence in Buda, the first of eleven care centers that she founded for young children. In 1836 she established an institute for the foundation of preschool centers. The idea became popular among the nobility and the middle class and was copied throughout the Hungarian kingdom. Friedrich Frau Paragraph Bell opened a play and activity institute in 1837 in the village of Bad Blankenburg in the Principality of schwarzburg rudolstadt Thuringia, as an experimental social experience for children entering school. He renamed his institute Kindergarten on June 28, 1840, reflecting his belief that children should be nurtured and nourished like plants in a garden. Women trained by Frau Paragraph Bell opened kindergartens throughout Europe and around the world. The first kindergarten in the United States was founded in Watertown, Wisconsin in 1856 and was conducted in German. Elizabeth Peabody founded America's first English-language kindergarten in 1860 and the first free kindergarten in America was founded in 1870 by Conrad Popp and Hussein, a German industrialist and philanthropist, who also established the Popp and Hussein Institute and the first publicly financed kindergarten in the United States was established in St. Louis in 1873 by Susan Blow. Canada's first private kindergarten was opened by the Wesleyan Methodist Church in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island in 1870 and by the end of the decade, they were common in large Canadian towns and cities. The country's first public school kindergartens were established in Berlin, Ontario in 1882 T Central School. In 1885, the Toronto Normal School opened a department for kindergarten teaching. Elizabeth Harrison wrote extensively on the theory of early childhood education and worked to enhance educational standards for kindergarten teachers by establishing what became the National College of Education in 1886. Country by Country Describing the use of the term around the world Afghanistan In Afghanistan, children between the age of three and six attend kindergartens diary, umoulq do slash, pashto, uuulu, 
which though not part of the school system are often run by the government. ECD programs were first introduced during the Soviet occupation with the establishment in 1980 of 27 urban preschools, or Kodakistan. The number of preschools grew steadily during the 1980s, reaching a high of more than 270 by 1990, with 2,300 teachers caring for more than 21,000 children. These facilities were an urban phenomenon, mostly in Kabul, and were attached to schools, government offices, or factories. Based on the Soviet model, they provided nursery care, preschool, and kindergarten for children from three months to six years of age under the direction of the Department of Labor and Social Welfare. The vast majority of Afghan families were never exposed to this system, and most of those who were never fully accepted it because it diminished the central role of the family and inculcated children with Soviet values. With the onset of civil war after the Soviet withdrawal, the number of kindergartens dropped rapidly. By 1995, only 88 functioning facilities serving 2,110 children survived, and the Taliban restrictions on female employment eliminated all of the remaining centers in areas under their control. In 2007, there were about 260 early years centers serving over 25,000 children. Though every governmental center is required to have an early childhood center, at present, no governmental policies deal with early childhood and no institutions have either the responsibility or the capacity to provide such services. Australia and New Zealand In each state of Australia, kindergarten means something slightly different. In Tasmania, New South Wales and the Australian Capital Territory, it is the first year of primary school. In Victoria Kindergarten is a form of preschool and may be referred to interchangeably as preschool or kindergarten. In Victoria and Tasmania the phrase for the first year of primary school is called prep, which is followed by grade 1. In Queensland, kindergarten is usually an institution for children around the age of 4 and thus it is the precursor to preschool and primary education. The year preceding the first year of primary school education in Western Australia, South Australia or the Northern Territory is referred to respectively as pre-primary, reception or transition. In New Zealand, kindergarten can refer to education in the two years preceding primary school, from age 3 to 4. Primary education starts at age 5. Bangladesh In Bangladesh, the term kindergarten or KG school is used to refer to the schooling of children attend from 3 to 6 years of age. The names of the levels are nursery, shisu, children, etc. But the view of kindergarten education has changed much from previous years. Almost every rural area now has at least one kindergarten school. Most of them are run in the Bangla language medium. They also follow the textbooks published by the National Curriculum and Textbook Board with a light modification, adding some extra books in syllabus. The grades generally start from nursery. KG afterwards, ends with the fifth grade. Separately, though, from the national education system, kindergarten is contributing greatly to achieve the MDG. Bulgaria In Bulgaria, the term Detska Gradina refers to the schooling children attend from three to seven years of age. The last year of kindergarten is also referred to as preschool. It is elective. The actual school starts as grade one. Canada Within the province of Quebec, junior kindergarten is called pra copyright maternal, is attended by four-year-olds, and senior kindergarten is called maternal, which is also not mandatory by the age of five, this class is integrated into primary schools. Within the French school system in the province of Ontario, junior kindergarten and senior kindergarten are called maternal and senior kindergarten is sometimes called jardin d'enfants, which is a calque of the German word kindergarten. Outside of Quebec and Ontario, there is only one year of kindergarten, except some private schools offer junior kindergarten for four-year-olds. After kindergarten, the child begins grade one. The province of Nova Scotia refers to kindergarten as grade primary. Chile In Chile, the term equivalent to kindergarten is educatia cubed en parvularia, sometimes also called educatia cubed en preescola. It is the first level of the Chilean educational system. 
it meets the needs of boys and girls integrally from their birth until their entry to the Educatia Cube den Barsica, without being considered as compulsory. Generally, schools imparting this level, the JUNJI and other private institutions have the following organization of groups or subcategories of levels, low nursery, it addresses babies from 85 days to 1 year old. High nursery, it addresses children from 1 to 2 years old. Low middle level, it addresses children from 2 to 3 years old. High middle level, it addresses children from 3 to 4 years old. First level of transition, often called pre-kinder, it addresses children from 4 to 5 years old. Second level of transition, usually called kinder, it addresses children from 5 to 6 years old. It is the last phase of this type of education. By finishing it, children go to Primera Básico. China In China, the equivalent term to kindergarten is at the first one quarter AA. The children start attending kindergarten at the age of three until they are at least six years old. The kindergartens in China generally have the following grades, nursery slash playgroup, three to four year old children, lower kindergarten slash LKG, four to five year old children, upper kindergarten slash UKG, five to six year old children, preschool, five to six year old children. Some kindergartens may not have preschool. The public kindergartens only accept children older than three years, while private ones do not have such limitation. Denmark Kindergarten is a daycare service offered to children from age three until the child starts attending school. Kindergarten classes are voluntary and are offered by primary schools before a child enters first grade. Two-thirds of established daycare institutions in Denmark are municipal daycare centers while the other third are privately owned and are run by associations of parents or businesses in agreement with local authorities. In terms of both finances and subject matter, municipal and private institutions function according to the same principles. Denmark is credited with pioneering forest kindergartens, in which children spend most of every day outside in a natural environment. Egypt. In Egypt, children may go to kindergartens for two years between the ages of four and six. France In France, preschool is known as a copyright col maternal. Free maternal schools are available throughout the country, welcoming children aged from two to six. The ages are divided into grand section, moyenne section, petite section and tout petite section. It is not compulsory. Yet almost 100% of children aged 3 to 5 attend. It is regulated by the Ministry of National Education. Germany The German preschool is known as a kindergarten. There is also a Kita, short for Kindertragesta Currency TTE, labeled that way to stress full day care for children, usually also taking children under the age of 3. Children between the ages of 3 and 6 attend Kindergarten Currency RTEN which are not part of the school system, therefore attendance is optional. They are often run by city or town administrations, churches, or registered societies, many of which follow a certain educational approach as represented, for example, by Montessori or Reggio Emilia or Berliner Bildungsprogramm, or Waldorf, etc. Due to the prevalent religions present in Germany, that is Roman Catholic and Protestants, even in smaller townships often there are at least one Catholic and one Protestant kindergarten available. Forest kindergartens are well established. Attending a kindergarten is neither mandatory nor free of charge, but can be partly or wholly funded, depending on the local authority and the income of the parents. All caretakers in Kita or kindergarten must have a three-year qualified education, or are under special supervision during training. Kindergarten currency RTEN can be open from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. or longer and may also house a kindercrip, meaning crache, for children between the ages of 8 weeks and 3 years, and possibly an afternoon hort for school-aged children aged 6 to 10 who spend the time after their lessons there. Alongside nurseries, there are daycare nurses, working independently from any preschool institution in individual homes and looking after only 3 to 5 children typically up to 3 years of age. These nurses are supported and supervised by local authorities. The term Vestule, meaning a Euro pre or a Euro unregistered trademark, 
is used both for educational efforts in kindergarten currency RTEN and for a mandatory class that is usually connected to a primary school. Both systems are handled differently in each German state. The Schule Kindergarten is a type of a school. Hong Kong Pre-primary services in Hong Kong refers to provision of education and care to young children by kindergartens and childcare centers. Kindergartens, registered with the Education Bureau, provide services for children from 3 to 6 years old. Childcare centers, on the other hand, are registered with the Social Welfare Department and include nurseries, catering for children aged 2 to 3, and creches, looking after infants from birth to 2. At present, most of the kindergartens operate on half-day basis offering upper, lower kindergarten classes and nursery classes. Some kindergartens operate full-day kindergarten classes too. Childcare centers also provide full-day and half-day services with most centers providing full-day services. The aim of pre-primary education in Hong Kong is to provide children with a relaxing and pleasurable learning environment to promote a balanced development of different aspects necessary to a child's development such as the physical, intellectual, language, social, emotional and aesthetic aspects. To help establish the culture of self-evaluation in kindergartens and to provide reference for the public in assessing the quality and standard of pre-primary education, the Education Bureau has developed performance indicators for pre-primary institutions in Hong Kong. Commencing in the 2000 January school year, Quality Assurance Inspection was launched to further promote the development of quality early childhood education. Hungary in Hungary a kindergarten is called an acute boda. Children attend kindergarten between ages 3 a euro 6 slash 7. Attendance in kindergarten is compulsory from the age of 3 years, though exceptions are made for developmental reasons. Though kindergartens may include programs in subjects such as foreign languages and music, children spend most of their time playing. In their last year children begin to be prepared to attend elementary school. Most kindergartens are state-funded. Kindergarten teachers are required to have a diploma. India In India, preschools is divided into two stages, lower kindergarten or junior kindergarten and upper kindergarten or senior kindergarten. Typically, a lower or junior class would serve children three to four years of age, while the upper or senior class would serve children four to five years of age. After kindergarten, a child enters primary school. There are both state and independent kindergartens. Italy In Italy preschool education refers to two different grades, nursery schools, called Ersilinido for children up to three years. Maternal schools for children three to five years old. Ersilinido have been settled after a 1971 state law and may be ruled either by private or public institutions. Italian Ersilinido were originally settled to allow mothers a chance to work out of their home, and therefore were seen as a social service. Today, they have mostly the purpose to help children in growing, communicating and learning. In Italy, much effort has been spent on developing a pedagogical approach to children's care, well known as the so-called Reggio approach. Emilia Romagna region is recognized as a leader for innovative approach to children's education. Esselinido are normally settled in small one-story buildings, surrounded by gardens. Buildings are always small and usually are suitable for no more than 60 or 70 children. The heart of the Esselinido are the classrooms, split in playroom and restroom. The playroom always has windows and doors leading to the outside playground and garden. Maternal schools were settled in 1968 after state law n. 444 and are a full part of Italian official education system, though attendance is not compulsory. As well as Ersilinido, maternal schools may be held either by public or private institutions. Japan Early childhood education begins at home, and there are numerous books and television shows aimed at helping mothers and fathers of preschool children to educate their children and to parent more effectively. Much of the home training is devoted to teaching manners, proper social behavior, and structured play, although verbal and number skills are also popular themes. Parents are strongly committed to early education and frequently enroll their children in preschools. Kindergartens, 
predominantly staffed by young female junior college graduates, are supervised by the Ministry of Education, but are not part of the official education system. The 58% of kindergartens that are private accounted for 77% of all children enrolled. In addition to kindergartens there exists a well-developed system of government-supervised daycare centers, supervised by the Ministry of Labor. Whereas kindergartens follow educational aims, preschools are predominantly concerned with providing care for infants and toddlers. Just as there are public and private kindergartens, there are both public and privately run preschools. Together, these two kinds of institutions enroll well over 90% of all preschool-aged children prior to their entrance into the formal system at first grade. The Ministry of Education's 1990 course of study for preschools, which applies to both kinds of institutions, covers such areas as human relationships, health, environment, words, and expression. Starting from March 2008 the new revision of curriculum guidelines for kindergartens as well as for preschools came into effect. South Korea In South Korea, children normally attend kindergarten between the ages of 3 or 4 and 6 or 7 in the Western age system the school year begins in March. It is followed by primary school. Normally the kindergartens are graded on a three-tier basis. They are called Uchi-1. Korean kindergartens are private schools. Costs per month vary. Korean parents often send their children to English kindergartens to give them a head start in English. Such specialized kindergartens can be mostly taught in Korean with some English lessons, mostly taught in English with some Korean lessons, or completely taught in English. Almost all middle class parents send their children to kindergarten. Kindergarten programs in South Korea attempt to incorporate much academic instruction alongside more playful activities. Korean kindergartners learn to read, write and do simple arithmetic. Classes are conducted in a traditional classroom setting, with the children focused on the teacher and one lesson or activity at a time. The goal of the teacher is to overcome weak points in each child's knowledge or skills. Because the education system in Korea is very competitive, kindergartens are becoming more intensely academic nowadays. Children are pushed to read and write at a very young age. They also become accustomed to regular and considerable amounts of homework. These very young children may also attend other specialized afternoon schools, taking lessons in art, piano or violin, taekwondo, ballet, soccer or mathematics. Q8 in Kuwait, Kuwaiti children may go to free kindergartens for two years between the ages of four and six. Macedonia Macedonian equivalent of the kindergarten is th th micron n on th th degree th cubed n euro th degree th 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 one half th th degree, sometimes called th th degree th plus or minus th degree th square th n n th micron when the kids are younger than four years. Detska Gradinka is not part of the state mandatory education, because the educational process in the country begins at the age of 5 to 6, that is first grade. Malaysia In Malaysia, kindergarten is known as Tadakar. Most kindergarten available to children of ages 5 and 6. For children of ages 3, there are preschool playgroups for them. There is no fixed rules on when a child needs to go to a kindergarten but majority will when the child turns five years old. The child will go to kindergarten usually for two years, that is when they are at age five and six, before they proceed to primary school at age seven. Mexico In Mexico, kindergarten is called Kandere, with the last year sometimes referred to as Preprimaria. It consists of three years of preschool education which are mandatory before elementary school. Previous nursery is optional, and may be offered in either private schools or public schools. At private schools, kinders usually consist of three grades, and a fourth one may be added for nursery. The fourth one is called maternal. It goes before the other three years and is not obligatory. While the first grade is a playgroup, the other two are of classroom education. The kindergarten system in Mexico was developed by Professor Osoro Zapata, who received the country's highest honor for that contribution. In 2002, the Congress of the Union approved the law of obligatory preschooling, 
which already made preschool education for three to six year olds obligatory, and placed it under the auspices of the federal and state ministries of education. Mongolia In Mongolia, kindergarten is known as NNNNN Euro THNTH cubed, or Tsetseleg. As of September 2013, there are approximately 152 kindergarten registered in the country. From those 152 kindergarten, 142 are state owned. Children begin a kindergarten at age of two and finish it by five. The education system before kindergarten in Mongolia is called NNTH NO, which accepts children between zero to two age. Morocco In Morocco, preschool is known as a copyright call maternal, cutob, or a road. State run, free maternal schools are available throughout the kingdom, welcoming children aged from two to five. It is not compulsory. Yet almost 80% of children aged 3 to 5 attend. It is regulated by the Moroccan Department of Education. Nepal In Nepal, kindergarten is simply known as kindergarten. Kindergarten is run as a private education institution and all the privately run educational institutions are in English medium. So, kindergarten education is also an English medium in Nepal. The children start attending kindergarten at the age of two until they are at least five years old. The kindergartens in Nepal have following grades, nursery slash playgroup, two to three year old children, lower kindergarten slash LKG, three to four year old children, upper kindergarten slash UKG, four to five year old children. The kindergarten education in Nepal is almost similar to that of Hong Kong and India. All the books in private education institution are in English except one compulsory Nepali. Netherlands In the Netherlands, the equivalent term to kindergarten was Kalita school. From the mid-19th century to the mid-20th century the term Fra Paragraph Bell school was also common, after Friedrich Fra Paragraph Bell. However this term gradually faded in use as the verb Fra Paragraph Bell and gained a slight derogatory meaning in everyday language. Until 1985, it used to be a separate non-compulsory form of education, after which children attended the primary school. After 1985, both forms were integrated into one, called Bazis and Derij. For children under four the country offers private, subsidized daycares, Dutch, Kinderdaj for belief, which are non-compulsory, but nevertheless very popular. Norway In Norway Barnage is the term equivalent to kindergarten, used for children in the ages between three months and six years. The first Barnehagel were founded in Norway in late 19th century. Even though they have existed for 120 years, they are not considered to be part of the education system. They are both publicly and privately owned and operated. The staff, at minimum the manager, should be educated as far as goal and rare. The children spend most of the time outdoors. There is also an institution called Barn Park, which does not have to certified staff. Peru In Peru, the term Nido refers to the schooling children attend from three to six years of age. It is followed by primary school classes, which last for six years. Some families choose to send their children to primary school at the age of six. In 1902 the teacher Elvira Garcia and Garcia co-founder of the society cited above, organized the first kindergarten for children 2 to 8 years old, banning annex to the Lyceum for ladies. Her studies and concern for children led her to spread through conferences and numerous documents, the importance of protecting children early and to respond to the formation of a personality based on justice and understanding as well as the use of methods fra paragraph bell and from Montessori and participation of parents in this educational task. Philippines In the Philippines, education officially starts at the elementary level and placing children into early childhood education through kindergarten is optional to parents. Early childhood education in the Philippines are classified into center-based programs, such as the Barangay Daycare Service, public and private preschools, kindergarten or school-based programs, community or church-based early childhood education programs initiated by non-government organizations or people's organizations, workplace-related child care and education programs, child-minding centers, health centers and stations, and, 
home-based programs, such as the neighborhood-based playgroups, family daycare programs, parent education and home visiting programs. Early childhood education is strengthened through the creation of Republic Act No. 8980 or the Early Childhood Care and Development Act of 2000. In 2011, the Department of Education disseminated copies of the Kindergarten Education Act through Republic Act No. 10157 making it compulsory and mandatory in the entire nation. As provisions in this law, children under five years old will be required to enroll in the kindergarten in any public elementary in the country. This goes with the implementation of the K-12 system in the basic education curriculum. Romania In Romania, Gra Florin Dinia de Florin, which means little garden is the favorite form of education for preschool children. The children are divided in little group, medium group, and big group. In the last few years, Private kindergartens have become popular, supplementing the state preschool education system. Russia In the Russian Federation THTH Micron N on THTH TH to the first NTH degree TH is an education institution for children usually 3 to 6 years of age. It is a th th three quarters n th th three quarters th no if one half th three quarters th micron th three quarters th plus or minus an euro th degree th th three quarters th squared th degree n th micron th no if one half th three quarters th micron n florin n n euro th micron th paragraph th th micron th one half th th micron Singapore. Kindergartens in Singapore provide up to three years of preschool programs for children aged between three and six. The three-year program, known as Nursery, Kindergarten 1 and Kindergarten 2 prepares children for their first year in primary school education. Some kindergartens further divide Nursery into N1 and N2. Sudan Kindergarten in Sudan is divided into private and public kindergarten. Preschool is compulsory in Sudan. The proper kindergarten age spans from 3 euro 6 years. The curriculum covers Arabic, religion, English, mathematics and more. Taiwan While many public kindergartens and preschools exist in Taiwan, private kindergartens and preschools are also quite popular. Many private preschools offer accelerated courses in various subjects to compete with public preschools and capitalize on public demand for academic achievement. Curriculum at such preschools often encompasses subject material such as science, art, physical education and even mathematics classes. The majority of these schools are part of large school chains, which operate under franchise arrangements. In return for annual fees, the chain enterprises may supply advertising, curriculum, books, materials, training, and even staff for each individual school. There has been a huge growth in the number of privately owned and operated English immersion preschools in Taiwan since 1999. These English immersion preschools generally employ native English-speaking teachers to teach the whole preschool curriculum in an A-Euro English-only A-Euro unregistered trademark environment. The legality of these types of schools has been called into question on many occasions, yet they continue to prosper. Some members of Taiwanese society have raised concerns as to whether local children should be placed in English immersion environments at such a young age, and have raised fears that the students' abilities and their mother language may suffer as a result. The debate continues, but at the present time, the market for English immersion preschools continues to grow. Ukraine. In 2010 a total of 56% of children aged 1 to 6 years old had the opportunity to attend preschool education, the Education and Science Ministry of Ukraine reported in August 2010. Many preschools and kindergarten were closed previously in light of economic and demographic considerations. United Kingdom The term kindergarten is rarely used in Britain to describe preschool education. Preschools are usually known as nursery schools or playgroups. However, the word kindergarten is used for more specialist organizations such as forest kindergartens, and is sometimes used in the naming of private nurseries that provide full-day child care for working parents. In the UK children have the option of attending nursery at the ages of 3 or 4 years, 
before compulsory education begins. Before that, less structured childcare is available privately. The details vary slightly between England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales. Some nurseries are attached to state infant or primary schools, but many are provided by the private sector. The government provides funding so that all children from the age of three until they start compulsory school, can receive five sessions per week of two and a half hours each either in state-run or private nurseries. Working parents can also spend a £55 per week free of income taxes, which is typically enough to pay for one or two days per week. The Scottish Government defines its requirements of nursery schools in the Early Years Framework and the Curriculum for Excellence. Each school interprets these with more or less independence, but must satisfy the Care Commission in order to retain their license to operate. The curriculum aims to develop confident individuals, effective contributors, responsible citizens, successful learners. Nursery forms part of the foundation stage of education. In the 1980s, England and Wales officially adopted the Northern Irish system whereby children start school either in the term or year in which they will become five depending on the policy of the local education authority. In Scotland, schooling becomes compulsory between the ages of four or one half and five or one half years, depending on their birthday. The first year of compulsory schooling is known as reception in England, Dos Bath Darbin in Welsh and primary one in Scotland and Northern Ireland. United States. In the United States, kindergarten is usually part of the K-12 educational system. While kindergarten was once viewed as a separate part of the elementary program, it is now generally considered the first year of formal education and fully integrated into the school system. In most state and private schools, children begin kindergarten at age five to six and attend for one year. Though in many states kindergarten is compulsory, as the age of required schooling begins at age five, in others, compulsory education begins at age six, seven, or eight. Forty-three states require their school districts to offer a kindergarten year. In the Waldorf and Montessori schools, children may begin kindergarten as early as age three to four and stay for several years in a play and activities-oriented program. See also, Forest Kindergarten, Montessori Education, Pre-Math Skills, Reggio Emilia Approach, Universal Preschool, Waldorf Schools, References. Further reading the following reading list relates specifically to kindergarten in North America, where it is the first year of formal schooling and not part of the preschool system as it is in the rest of the world. Cryan, J. R. Sheehan, R. Yeshel, J. Bandy Hedden, IG Success Outcomes of Full Day Kindergarten, More Positive Behavior and Increased Achievement in the Years After. Early Childhood Research Quarterly 7. 187 a euro 203 doi 10.1016 slash 0885 2006 92 90,000 for Aya, Ilika, J. Martha, S. What do they do all day? Comprehensive evaluation of a full day kindergarten. Early childhood research quarterly 12, 459 a euro 480 doi 10.1016 per second 0885-2006, 97, 90022-3A, Fusero, J.A. The Effect of Full Day Kindergarten on Student Achievement, A Meta Analysis. Child Study Journal 27, 269 Euro 277. Retrieved September 30, 2013 A, Hello, D.F. The Changing Family Context. Implications for the Development of All-Day Kindergarten Young Children, 45, 4, 35 a Euro 39 EJ 409 110 Hurston, T, and Cam, are Full-Day Kindergarten, a summary of the research. Camichael, California, San Juan Unified School District ED 345 868 Calwait and the Kindergarten Experience. Educational Leadership, 49, 6, 82 a Euro 86. EJ 441 182. Koopmans, MA Study of Longitudinal Effects of All-Day Kindergarten Attendance on Achievement. Newark, New Jersey, Newark Board of Education. 
ED 336-494, Morrow, L.M., Strickland, D.S., and Wu, D.G. 1998. Literacy Instruction in Half and Whole Day Kindergarten. Newark, Delaware, International Reading Association. ED 436-756. Olson, D., and Ziegler, E. 1989. An Assessment of the All-Day Kindergarten Movement. Early Childhood Research Quarterly, 4, 2, 167 a Euro 186. EJ 394085. Puleo, VT. 1988. A Review and Critique of Research on Full-Day Kindergarten. Elementary School Journal, 88, 4, 427 a Euro 439. EJ 367-934. Towers, J.M. Attitudes Toward the All-Day, Everyday Kindergarten. Children Today, 20, 1, 25 a Euro 28. EJ 431-720. West, J. Denton, K. and German O. Horskin, E. 2000. America's Kindergartners Washington, D.C. National Center for Educational Statistics, McGill Franzen, A Kindergarten Literacy, Matching Assessment and Instruction in Kindergarten. New York, Scholastic. Wested. Full Day Kindergarten, Expanding Learning Opportunities. San Francisco, Wested. Schoenberg, Nara. Kindergarten, It's the New First Grade. Chicago Tribune. Retrieved June 26, 2012. Uh, External links, Sources for Kindergarten Teachers in the U.S., Friedrich Fra Paragraph Bell Timeline, Recent Research on All-Day Kindergarten in the U.S., Kindersight Project a Euro Researching into the Use of Technology within Kindergartens with Kindergarten Appropriate Internet Content, Watch the 1962 Documentary Kindergarten, Texts on Wikisers, Paul Monroe. Kindergarten. New International Encyclopedia A, Kindergarten. Encyclopædia Britannica 1911a, Patty S. Hill. Kindergarten, The. Encyclopædia Americana A.